Thinking about your work today um, on the way here, and and I wanted to actually ask you about risk taking, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah. because I was thinking about some mm -hmm. of the things that you like to do, right. um, and some of the things we have in common that we like to do, mm -hmm. uh, including art, but also other than art, and and I was thinking about risk taking, and, and mm -hmm. wanted to ask you about that. Yeah, I mean. I, for me, like not only subjectively has my work taken risks over the years, but I mean, I, it goes back to the fact that I, uh, you know, I was a teenager in the 70s. I mean, um, <laughs> you know, and so for me, uh, the idea of like of punk music and, and anarchy in the real sense, in the sense of, you know, holding authority um, to... Uh, you know, to have to justify its own existence and that there needs to be an adequate um, justification of, of their legitimacy of authority and questioning that. And so for me, as early as in high school and then certainly in college, um, that that idea of questioning institutions and, and their legitimacy was always a priority for me. And so all the way through school as I was doing that and then when I first came to New York in the 80s, it certainly was, you know, in music and in art, that was very much something that um, was on the table. It's very rare to see that today. Um, so for me, my artwork definitely put that um, front and center. And then as I got involved with art further, I saw outside of the art world possibilities of challenging the authority of an art world you know, and where art could actually end up. So to bring it completely up to date, this past summer, I. Um, I worked uh, with a, um, a race team to have my art appear on the, um, the uh, Porsche um, race car for the 24 hours of Le Mans, and, um, which is not unusual in the sense that Warhol, Calder, Lichtenstein, um, and um, other artists, uh, including Jenny Holzer even, um, participate in BMW's um, art car program. And uh, so I did it. Instead of using dots and stripes and decorations like that, I put paintings on the car, like even though they were images that had been uh, put on with foil and all that. But it ended up, um, you know, there's 450,000 people that go to that that event, and so and then it's broadcast to millions around the world. So the idea that art could appear in that space where these guys are literally risking their lives driving at over 200 miles an hour around the track um, was something that was melding those two aspects of, of, of uh, you know, thought together. And um, I'm happy to say that our car won, which no other our car, <laughs> and, you know, both Le Mans and the World Championship, which no other our car, and that means Calder, Lichtenstein, Warhol, all these people. <laughs>